We got invited to our friend's wedding. So we are at the Sangeet night. This is my husband. They use a, a paste of turmeric. The groom has arrived. All the Baratis know that they have to protect the shoes. So the bride is about to come. Hey guys, Julia here. We are in Alibag. This is our first time in Alibag. We took the ferry yesterday and we are here because we got invited to our friend's wedding. This is not my first Indian wedding, but this is the first one I'm vlogging. And every wedding is so different from, from the other. So I'm really excited to take you around, show you all the different rituals. And yeah, just have some fun together. And if you have never been to an Indian wedding because you're following us from a different country, I'm pretty excited to show you all the different traditions. It's just beautiful. I'm wearing like a beautiful outfit. This is an outfit that uh, a friend of mine actually designed for me and it's just so beautiful. And I think one of the best part of Indian weddings is actually also planning the outfits because this is the time where you can literally just be a princess and a queen and just get the best dresses. with so sparkly, so like precious and it's just so beautiful. We are at the Sangeet night and Shrey and I love this type of lights. We just would love to put them literally everywhere in the house. So just the fact that the entrance is like this is so dreamy. I always love Sangeet so much because it's so beautiful the idea that all the guests are basically gifting a performance, a dance, a song to the married couple. It's just so beautiful as a concept. I wish we had that in Europe. This is where friends and families of the couple perform dance routines as a gift to the married couple. I joined in on the fun and it was so nice grooving to Bollywood music with mom and Shrey. Shrey actually didn't manage to prepare a choreography and she feels really shy to dance in front of people because he thinks it's not good. But if you go back to our videos, you're gonna see the Gunguru performance and you're gonna see him dancing and I think he's really good. He just needs to put in the effort, you know? Nevertheless, the location is amazing, I love it. The atmosphere is always amazing. I'm a Bollywood songs fan, so... Hello, let's go. This is my husband, carrying my bag. Thank you. For all the success that you see guys, don't forget the sweat, blood and tears that I have put in behind the camera. <laughs> Come out. Yes, it's true. So we are at the Haldi ceremony happening. Mom and all her friends, they're taking pictures. Nice ladies. They're taking pictures. Nice. Smile. I really love Alibag. It's really quite local and quite authentic to be honest. And I'm really having a good time here. The nature is incredible and it's just crazy that in just 40 minutes by ferry you can just escape Mumbai whenever you want to and just come here and enjoy like nice nature, a nice environment. It's super peaceful. It's almost our turn. I'm really waiting for our turn. So how do you like Alibag? You take a break from the hustle bustle of yeah. the place. And I, what I was saying is that it's quite still authentic and local. Like it's, you feel like it's not, not super touristy yet. Yeah, it's not touristy yet. So it's really cool. So that was the haldi ceremony going on, and I'm really looking forward to the time when we go there and put the haldi on our friends. <laughs> it's always fun to do that. So this ritual is before the wedding because it's you want to purify. Before, yes, yes. yes. And make before the, the couple glow yes, yes. before the wedding right so yes. that's why they use a, a paste yeah. of turmeric yes, yes. And every guest is supposed to yes, put some yes. turmeric and that's auspicious yes, right yes, yes. actually haldi ceremonies can get quite wild some people mix haldi and holi and there are a certain point there are all like the different colors just <laughs> being like thrown everywhere you're supposed to wear yellow because of the turmeric colors i think shrey and i will go on top of the stage and put the haldi to our friends soon this is when things get mixed with holly right no 
not supposed to. But... <laughs> Things get just mixed up and it gets a bit crazy. In the case of my friends, they just put like Coke, Pepsi, Limka and all. <laughs> All right, we got changed because it's time for the feras, for the real wedding. Shay is there chilling. Where is Shay? Raise your hand, babe. What up, man? So I'm gonna show you the beautiful setup. After being to a lot of Indian weddings and of course a lot of European weddings, there is a major difference. In Indian weddings, because there are so many rituals, people are way more chilled about time. If they say that the wedding starts at 3 or 3.30 p.m., you don't have to be stressed, you know? You can just take your time to get ready because it's never gonna be 3.30 p.m. It's never gonna be on time, which is the exact opposite in Europe. So when we plan our Italian wedding, we literally spent months telling our Indian friends, hey, you have to be your time because the ceremony will start. It's not like in India. Also, the other big difference is while the wedding is happening, you can have snacks, you can drink, you can relax while you're watching the wedding. Whereas at least in the Italian wedding, or I guess the same is for the other more like European weddings or Western weddings, people are supposed to be really present during the ceremony. So no food is served during the ceremony. No drinks are served during the ceremony. The first time I've been to an Indian wedding, I was really surprised to see that, you know, the couple was getting married and people were just like having snacks, drinking, chatting. And I was like, wait, but the... What is happening, you know? <laughs> and then Shrey explained to me, the thing is like there are so many rituals. Wedding is so long that you have to put some snacks and some drinks for people to relax. Otherwise, it's gonna be really, um, you know, intense. Yeah, now we're just waiting. It's said 3.30 p.m. At what time do you think babe is gonna start? Add one hour. Okay, we add one hour. That's the average. Let's see, I'm gonna let you know. has arrived. I really love this like concept where there are like two parts of the guests. We are the Baratis, so we are from the side of the groom and that is the side of the bride and I think now they're getting ready to just transport her from the inside to the area where the wedding will happen. We are from the groom's side so we are supposed to protect the shoes. Trey and I had the idea to actually just get the shoes right now and just hide them. But I just like the fact that basically like even if you don't know each other, all the Baratis know that they have to protect the shoes for example. Like all the Baratis have to be at the Bala together and it's just so cool. I just love it. So the bride is about to come and there are all her brothers and male friends around her. That, that is how it's supposed to be. They basically have to carry this little like, I don't know, like flower umbrella. I don't know how to call it, but yes, she's coming. Weddings are a truly wonderful and unforgettable experience. They are a celebration of love, family and tradition and are filled with vibrant colors, beautiful attire and elaborate rituals and customs. They are a time for friends and family to come together and celebrate the union of two people. And they are an occasion that will be remembered for a lifetime.